Okay, so we're gonna do flats. We finished for the night. Everything is done shooting. And for the way we do flats, we use this light panel or flat panel. I call it a light panel a lot because it is a light. And I'm gonna plug it in here. Dim it all the way down, and then I'm just going to set it right on top of here. And I like to try to get it as centered as possible. That's pretty close. We'll go with that. And then we use the Nina software, the same software that we use for shooting everything. And we're just going to go ahead and hit play. It's all ready to do it. It's already aimed at the zenith. And we did some of this prep for this before we came out here to actually physically do the flats. And we have a thing, I think we have it taken 20. Is that right? 20? Yeah, 20. So, and you can go into here. And you can look at. I think we have a flat wizard, flat wizard folder right here. Today's the 11th flat. So our flats are all gonna look pretty much like that guy right there. <clears throat> flats help remove when you're shooting. A lot of times you'll notice in your single frame shots, your lights and everything, that you'll have these little circles, these like circles of dust everywhere. And the flats are used to integrate with all of the other exposures that you get and it actually kind of erases a lot of the dust. So we'll get these these flats taken. Oh, it's already done. Alrighty, so then we'll go back into here and then it, we're going to take dark flats. So the way to do that is remove the panel here, turn it off. assume we know what those are going to look like pretty much nothing absolutely zero just the sensor it's just taking pictures basically of what the sensor sees when it's completely covered too so is that about all is that about it I think that's about it um, I guess we can keep going though and I can show you real quick how we get everything back before we shut everything down part of the reason we had some of this going before we came out here is because we cooled the camera you want the camera done you want the camera to take the flats and the dark flats at the same temperature that it takes all the other exposures. And so we have it set to, I think it's negative 10, is it negative 10 degrees Celsius? Does that sound right? Or does that sound weird? Yeah, negative 10 degrees Celsius. So it's all done, taking the dark flats. Just double check it here. We have 20 items in the dark folder, so we're all good there. So we're gonna go ahead and start heating up the camera. We're gonna go to the mount. And we're going to home the mount. And probably before I actually physically turn off like the switch that powers the camera, I'll wait for it to get a little bit warmer before I do it. It is a warm day though, so it's pretty warm in the observatory. You said it was how hot in here? 81 degrees? Is that about right? He just shrugs his shoulders. About 81 degrees in here, I think, but it's about 71 or so outside. So, should I go ahead and put the cap on for the guide scope, babe, or just leave it off? Shrug, shrug. I'm just gonna leave it off. We may shoot tomorrow night anyway, so. All right, that's getting honed. We can go ahead and disconnect the mount. So it's done, right? Yeah, okay. Disconnect the mount. We're gonna let the camera keep heating up a little bit. We can go over here to the switch. We can turn off 
The mount should I go ahead and turn off the mount. Turn off the focuser. The dome. We'll leave the camera on. And why is there a second one for the mount? We don't want to answer any questions. Do I do anything with these? I pull her off. That's empty, but it's on. That's probably one of the ones we used for the light, for the flat panel. Okay. I think it's all. We do. Are we good? Are we done? Okay. <laughs> We're good. We're done. Bye.